Welcome to the BIM Interoperability Expert Group, or BAIG for short, website pages. My name is Andy Boosel. I'm technical lead for education and skills workstream of the BAIG and also head of BIM at Keir. So this is a quick video to give you an overview uh, for how to use a new a tool that we've just launched um, to, to help articulate the business benefits around information interoperability. Um, so it's very much designed to help you with uh, conversations with your colleagues, your clients, your suppliers, um, to really focus and, and understand the plain language benefits case. So I will share my screen and then take you through the tool. OK, if I just go to full screen. OK, so here it is. Here's the home page. Now, there's two ways to navigate around this tool, either from uh, from the perspective of the organizational type up here. Um, so you'll recognize these typical roles uh, across the demand and supply chain, or indeed by the work stream topic or the technical um, technical topic making up interoperability down here. Uh, now, depending on either way you navigate, you will arrive at the same answer. Um, so it's not designed to catch anyone out. There's just two ways of, of coming into the tool, two perspectives. So, for example, I will come in from a subcontractor's perspective by clicking here. And as you can see, there's some fundamental principles text under each one of these technical topics uh, explaining what, what it is. Um, and then these are interactive buttons, the same down here, are the same as up here. So, if, for example, if I want to look at classification, I can click on classification and I'll start to see some value to use statements as a subcontractor. Uh, what, how they translate into the potential key business benefits across here, and then their relevance by role focus, uh, whether you're in at a strategic level, management or delivery level. Whilst I'm in here, now obviously this one's for classification, down here I can then flip through the different other technical topics. So IFC and COBE, again value to use statements, standards and procurement for interoperability. Um, there's, I can go back a level down here or at any point or there's a home button up here. So if I just go back to home, obviously I could then go in as someone else, so a client and again the same exists. I can flick through those various value to use statements and look at the key benefits. So that's route one. Route two, I can come down here so I can say, well, actually I'm interested specifically from, I want to know more about IFC and Kobe. So if I click on here, again, we get that fundamental principles text explaining high level what it is. And then now down here, I have my organizational types and I can now flick through to find those same value to you statements, key benefits and relevance, but depending on the different perspective. So from a developer client, a design consultant, project management, or even a software vendor. So the tool is really as simple as that, and it's it's just to help, to help guide those conversations, or like I said, indeed signpost uh, signpost people too to help understand that plain language business benefits. Really hope it's a useful tool, and we'd be really keen to to gather any feedback for development ahead. Mm -hmm.